blank canvas if I were to do an acrylic pour the canvas soaks it up a lot and I don't always want to over pour and waste some acrylic so I try my best to um, pour enough that it completely covers the canvas and falls to the sides but um, that I don't have an ex an, but to the point where I don't have an excess of wasted paint so hopefully with a base coat we'll see if it makes that big of a difference on whether or not the canvas will soak up the paint or allow it to roll and flow a little bit better because um, without a base coat I have noticed and I haven't done too many base coats before I think out of the 10 that I did previously I maybe done like one or two and I still don't even really know if there was that big of a difference but um, if I do a pour and I let it sit there for a minute the canvas will soak it up and it won't flow and roll as easily that I'm, as I noticed compared to just completely pouring and immediately starting to um, roll the paint. I hope that makes sense. If not, whatever, I tried. So I'm going to pour some white. And I don't care if I have extra of this because I'm most likely going to use white on my paintings anyway. But I'm going to mix it with white pearl to give it a little bit of sheen and sparkle and people typically do a two to one ratio of their medium to their paint or one to one one to one or two to one i think it's typically two to one so i'm gonna do my best to put twice as much floetrol as there is paint in there and I get Floetrol from Home Depot. It's a lot cheaper than getting it on Amazon. to my canvas so I'll be back my phones although the battery ah, although the battery isn't um draining because of the heat and they're sitting in the sun they're both extremely hot so um i'm just gonna take a break for me my phones and my sanity <laughs> uh, just to cool down i've been out there for pretty much two hours prepping everything it's, it's about five o'clock and um the sun doesn't set really until like about eight and i still want to get a workout in today so yeah i usually like delay getting paint stuff done because it's so hot outside but i've endured heat in mexico where there's no ac and um yeah if i can deal with it there i can deal with it here i'm just gonna have to push through because i really need to get my artwork done <laughs> and with texas summer here there's gonna <laughs> there's really not any avoiding it if it's not this hot it's raining or super windy so i gotta do what i gotta do but we'll be back to select colors and get to painting it's pretty much like an hour later and wait what am i gonna do yeah. okay it's still hot af outside but i can't let the day pass me by so i'm going to get started I think I want up to five. This is gonna be my cup. I'm going to go in with some splendid gold, rose gold, this cotton candy pink. Um, deep burgundy I think would go these would go lovely together and I'm thinking about and I'm thinking about this ruby red also I feel like they would look cute together 
hopefully we will see i think these look nice together just from like the sticker but we'll see i'm gonna put them in the cup and then i'll have a better idea <laughs>
I got ice blue, mountain forest. I think those will look good together. Um, sea breeze and blue bonnet. I was planning to mix this with a little bit. There's not like a lot of leftover gold really. Um, I was gonna use it with gold, but I'm thinking it'll look a lot better with this white pearl, which is kind of like a silver. But I kind of want some gold accents to it, so I'm really just gonna pour this in there and then let the residue, you know, mix and create its own little color or whatever. But it'll mainly be more icy than like, you know, warm and golden. First thing in, last thing out. Part of me doesn't even want to paint because these when I tell you these were so gorgeous even just the bits that you can see you can see how beautiful these were and for them to be ruined it hasn't even been that windy like thank god I left this one over here I should have moved these over to this table but the wind had they weren't fully dry yet and and now like ugh. Even the parts that I can peel off, they're like imprinted. Like, you see the red? That's actually on the canvas. Like, it took the paint off of the freaking. Oh my gosh, I, I'm, 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 I'm. These were so gorgeous. They were so beautiful. And it's like a waste. And I don't even know how I can get all of this off without messing up the canvas like oh my goodness okay well, I'm gonna try to do my best to recover these and see what I can do I'm so pissed oh my gosh oh it's a waste of paint everything